Since 2019, this 49-year-old artist has made over two dozen such paintings, all of them made from a mix of shredded plastic, expired paint and leftover wood from demolished homes. These materials were sourced from around his neighborhood or donated by contacts he has built since starting this campaign. We also collect expired, used and bad orders of paints from hardware stores. There are different ways in how we collect them, either from donations or we get from demolished houses. We also get plywood that we also use as materials for our canvas. Gilbert Angeles started his advocacy after reading a news article about the Philippines being among the top contributors of plastic waste, hoping his talents can somehow influence people to rethink how they get rid of or generate trash. I make these artworks to raise awareness so we could fight against the trash in our area, to make us more responsible in how we dispose of our trash, and to make us aware of where our trash goes after they are thrown away. His artwork has since been featured in upscale galleries, with paintings selling for about $600 to $3,000 depending on their size. A fraction of the process will go to his recently established group Green Arts. I love the fact that it gives us hope. This particular painting is called uh, Living Hope, and that I find it really does give living hope. It's got beautiful colours, recycled plastic, repurposing bad things and making them beautiful things. The Philippines is among the top five marine plastic polluters in the world, according to a 2017 report of the environmental group Ocean Conservancy and the McKinsey Center for Business and Environment.